The four seed Stetson Hatters. You're watching the NCAA Baseball Regionals presented by Capital One. Let's go ahead and take a look at our bracket here in the Tallahassee Regional. Four teams made their way for a double elimination format tournament this weekend. Florida State hosting for the first time since 2018. The two and three seed Alabama and UCF will play later tonight. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable to think of a freshman at this level that's got more walks than strikeouts. Hits it hard towards short on one hop. Lodice across the dive and one away. Tons of speed at the top of this lineup. You said Kyle Jones, 22 stolen bases. Barquette, 16 stolen bases this year. And he rips one out to right. And it's caught on the fly out there by Tibbs. At 531. And he skies one high right around home plate. The catcher, Jackson West, ranges under it and makes the catch. Just nine pitches for Carson Dorsey to get it going here. Florida State coming up to the plate. Two seed in the Tallahassee Regional. There are uh, relations between a lot of these teams, programs, and coaches. And this ball's driven out to right. Way back there. If it's fair, it's gone. Fair ball. Max Williams, a leadoff home run. Gets the Seminoles out in front, one to nothing. His 10th home run of the year, and that ball was crushed. What a statement for the Knowles. That ball would have landed on top of the circus tent out in right field. If it is, is this fair or foul? Wow. Fastball up and in, and he's a little bit of a lean, a little <laughs> bit of a Carlton Fisk. Just stay fair. Well, Max Williams, one of the most aggressive hitters home runs on the year. Skies one high down the right field line, ranging over Logan Hughes, and he makes the grab in fair ground. Well, 377 batting average, 84 RBI, and 25 home runs to lead the league. Takes a breaking pitch towards second. Desiro over to first for the second out of the inning. Actually initially committed to Maryland before joining the Knowles. And he pokes one towards short, charging is Miola. And that will get Stetson out of the inning, but Max Williams for Florida State needed just nine pitches in the first inning. Eight of those were strikes. Cueto chops one towards first. Cantu takes it himself. One away. Great jump. And he takes a walk here. So. This is a young Stetson team. When you look at the roster, there's a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores. Look in 23. This ball's ripped towards second, caught on the fly. Throw over the first. And a double play. That'll help out Carson Dorsey. Clear. So he said his main goal really this week was just to give back to the fans and what they have given. And it's caught on the line down there by Barquette at third, but it was hit hard by Ferrer. Two in the month of May, that's a 327 batting average. And fastball, flied out to left. Griffiths going back on the warning track, and this ball's out of here! Second home run of the game. And a solo shot for Cantu, his eighth of the year, puts Florida State up two to nothing. You could see Griffiths out in left field, and he's tracking this ball, fastball middle down. Started going flat, and then all of a sudden started drifting. And I don't think there's enough to wind up to completely blow it out, but it just did not look like it was going out. This one playable. Who's gonna make the catch though? And it's Hughes who finally calls everybody off for the second out. Adam played for 11, and he takes a walk. First walk of the game issued by Dylan Jacobs. And he lines one out to right center field. A center fielder, Jones, running into the wall, makes the grab. 
Florida State hit the ball hard off of Dil Dylan Jacob. Run homer in the eighth inning of the A-Sun Championship game. And there is that strikeout. First for Dorsey today. And puts the first out of the board in the third. Ranked for a little while, their offense was spectacular. This one's going to be a base hit for Desiro. First hit of the game off of Carson Dorsey comes in the third with one out. But tons of history in the state. Stetson made history in 18. And a swing and a miss. Second strikeout of the inning for Dorsey. Two gone. Move him out of the nine spot, but he's gotten even better since he's been in the leadoff spot. And a line shot out to Ferrer will drop in front. Second hit of the inning, and the Hatters got him on first and second. Well, if this guy does not strike out, he does not swing and miss. Breaking pitch lifted down the left field line, hooking, it's a fair ball. That's gonna score Desiro. They're gonna wave around Kyle Jones. Here's the play at the plate. And he's out. Stetson gets one on the RBI base hit from Isaiah Barquette. It looks like we will have our first re er, review of the game. Had it, you know, he could have got in there. Staying soft down in a way until he makes an adjustment. Jacobs went in again, jammed him, slow roller to first, and Moran is there to record the out. For the Seminoles, and a payoff, fastball hit towards the right side. Nice scoop from Moran. He'll take it himself to the right. So far, we've had some solid first base play. This is and just call it quits because he will go hunt a hanging breaking ball right here. And a really tall bat flip there for Tibbs as he works a walk. The NCAA region. And Dinches towards the left side, past the dive of Viola and into left. First hit of the game for Dinches, the designated hitter. Was out down the right field line for the whole game playing. <laughs> it was <laughs> insane. Line shot back up the middle. Tibbs being waved around. He will score easily. Throw comes into second. Florida State gets that run back. They gave up in the top half of this inning. It is three to one. RBI base knock for Jaime Ferrer. And he's not creating any spin. That was a better one, but this ball hit out to right. Hughes under it, and that will retire the side. Florida State gets a run back. They lead it three to one as we go to the. So far, it's looked pretty good. 3-2 count to Logan Hughes to start the top of the fourth, and that will be another strikeout. Third of the game for the lefty. So he has had success as a starter. This ball poked out to right. That'll drop for a base hit for Gio Cueto, catcher for Stetson. And has started every single game he has played for the Hatters. And he flies one out to left. Chases Ferrer back a little bit. And will be out number two here in the top of the fourth. First game, you win. You get to game two, you win that. And you are in the absolute driver's seat. Fastball laced out to left for a base hit. Cueto will hold up at second. So Stetson. Runners off on the pitch. And a fly ball on the infield. Second baseman Ferro is there, and he makes the catch to end the inning. So Stetson threat slot, mixes it up, looks more like a, a, a fastball cutter guy. This ball lined to second and caught by Desiro. Might be the hottest guy on the field here today. And a called strike three. First strikeout for. Mullany. 3 2 on the way. Popped up. Out to left. Going back is Griffiths on the warning track and he drops it. West head first dive into second. That ball kept chasing Evan Griffiths back. And he just took his eye off with Pop. That'll be a walk. Florida State. 
Runners on first and second with two outs. Oops. And looking to capture that elusive College World Series title. This one rolled over towards short. Miola has it. And a scoop over at first. Might have bailed him out there, but still in there as well. One earned, three strikeouts, one walk. And this one hit sharply towards second. Fielded by Ferro, one gone. Ferro had a single last inning. Shot a fastball away to left field, so he's seeing Dorsey with five. Wow. Nice pitch right there by Dorsey. Goes soft down and away after painting the fastball there. Year after year after year, it says, well, I mean, you can say the same thing about the offense. Off the end of the bat, back on the mound. Dorsey underhand toss to first. And a nice one, two, three inning. 77 pitches for the left-hander. And he started it's out of the zone. There's a fastball out of the zone for ball four. And Tibbs with a second walk of the game. Lead off and aboard for the Seminoles. T.J. Milani. And this ball's roped out to right. Tibbs up to second. Dingus has two base knocks today. And Florida State's got something cooking here in the bottom of the foot. This didn't work. How do I adjust? This one hit on the ground off the bat of Ferrer. They'll go to second with it over to first. Not in time. So they will get Dingus out at second. Ferrer safe at first. Home plate has thrown out nine base runners on the season. Skied high out to shallow left field. It looked like Griffiths couldn't find it for a moment. Now he picks it up. Faking the tag is Tibbs to stay at third. So a little bit of an advantage. And he hits one out towards left field. And there it is again. Griffiths can't find it and it drops. Tibbs comes in to score. They're going to wave around for rare, and he will score all the way from first. And Florida State. And the 2-2 is laced out to right. Back goes Hughes, and he makes the catch on the warning track. Nearly went over his head. It has been an adventure for the outfielders today for Stetson. CC against Duke, Wake Forest, and Georgia Tech. Perot's had some infield work today. A couple of ground outs to second. I'm going to put out number A couple of guys on the bump that can carry you. Hughes out to right center field, and this will drop in the gap. One hop up off the fence. And Hughes coasting into second. And with a one out double, that's the first extra base. Tenth double of the year for Hughes. Now Gio Cueto, the catcher, is up, and that ball is bounced around there. West can't find it. Down to third will go Hughes. Talented, those two conferences have been this year. Cueto popping one up. And it'll be playable out there for Ferro, and he drops it. Now coming in to score is Hughes. And a defensive miscue for Florida State leads to a run for the Hatters. It's 5-2. To, to, to stay on the fastball a little bit better. Oh, and they got him here. Cueto picked off on first. They'll go down to second tag applied by Lodis. And that'll put two outs on the board. Great pickoff move by Dorsey. And he caught. It's pretty much eliminated with Dorsey on the mound. And a called strike three to Moran. So the pickoff to first cleared Cueto off the base pass and a strikeout to Moran. The ball in the air a couple of times. This one popped up off the bat of West. Catcher Cueto tosses the mass and makes the grab. Well, after watching three for five. I had a called strike three there. Milani picks up his second strike out of the game. And Williams can't believe it. And he grounds one back to the mound. Milani has it. Underhand toss to first. And a one, two, three inning for Milani. He has worked three innings in relief, but the Hatters need some run. To have known what he did in his bullpen coming off the worst start of the year against Duke in the ACC championship. Just carves up right there, change up down and away, punches out Miola. He's got catching bottom of the zone. And this is going to be a single off the bat of Brandon Hilton, his first hit. 
of the day. But yeah, I mean, we mentioned it. Whatever got fixed in the bullpen this week. This ball's laced off the bat of Desero, and that'll bounce up off the wall. Hilton, who's been injured, slow towards third. And it'll be a double for Desero. An imposing figure at the plate, and he swings at the off speed and strikes out. Seven strikeouts for Carson Dorsey through six and two thirds in out. This is trouble out towards foul ground, and the catch is made. Cantu squeezes it for the final out of the inning. Carson Dorsey through loophole. And then you can always just go the blue blood of USC, Arizona State. Right. That's a great question. 256 against righties. Runner taken off, and it's ball four. Back to back walks for Shine to get his day started. And he rips one out to left field. Tibbs will be held up at third with nobody out. The bases are going to be loaded for Daniel Cantu, who is already homer today. Stetson here against Cantu. And the first pitch swung on, grounded towards second. Tibbs will come in to score. They'll go to second with it, get the out there. So Ferreira raced from the base pass. An RBI for Cantu to make it 6-2. to two. Safety squeeze, which the runner third base is holding up to make sure the bunt gets down. And Lodice puts a charge into one out to right. Back at the wall is Hilton, and he makes the catch on the track. Tagging up is Dingus, and he will score on the sack fly RBI from Lodice. It is 7-2 now. Lodice. 0-1-2 for Rowe. Fastball, chopped towards second. Desero will retire the side. Couple insurance runs in the seventh. Florida State leading it by five. And a line shot out to right field. Tibbs, out number one. 108 pitches now for Carson Dorsey. I don't think you could have asked for a better start from a guy who has really just two extra base hits so far today for the Hatters. And this ball's popped up, shallow center field. Ross charging in, calls everybody off, and he makes the catch, two outs. Doesn't it ever fail to bring a new guy in, and within a couple of plays, always he's him. always getting something. He made that look easy. Cueto here. You wonder what they do in the ninth. Swinging first pitch, Cueto out to right. Just a couple of pitches for Dorsey. He's at 112 for the game. And he is through eight innings of just two run ball with seven strikeouts. Back on May 17th. That is a look right there of a guy that's going back out there. West slaps one the other way. Barquette bobbles it a moment, nearly throws it away. Moran had to come off the base. And that'll be a hit for West. Off the end of the bat, out to center field. Coming in is Jones now. One out. Well, let me ask you this, Greg. I mean, wh what do you have to lose? He's going. <laughs> Nolan Ryan used to throw 150. Could be two. Desero. I'm not sure how he threw that ball over there into foul territory, but nonetheless, Smith goes up to second. I wonder if it caught a piece of... And the payoff on the way is down ball four. Oh, ball three. I thought it was ball four. Tibbs. Yep, it is ball four. We were right. Make it four walks on the day. Din just pokes one back towards the mound, scooped up by Durgin. And that will retire the side. We go to the top of the ninth. Florida State trying to win the opening round game. They lead by five do any more damage. And Moran hits one in the air out to left field. That's Williams over there making the catch. Two outs away from a complete game for Dorsey. And Miola skies one in the air. Foul ground towards first. Cantu makes the catch and they are one out away.
on the ground through the right side. And this ball gets past Tibbs. It'll roll all the way to the wall. Hilton will end up on third. That might have been one of the longest throws I've seen all year. <laughs> Save that run. I am amped up even though this game's seven to two. Swing and a miss. Florida State takes the opening round game against Stetson. And they will play in the winner's game tomorrow. Dorsey with the win going eight and two thirds. Stetson actually out hit the Seminoles in this one, nine to seven. But a couple of home runs for the Noles early on. Williams, Cantu, big two run RBI double from Alex Lodis. And the Noles with an excellent start and timely hitting pick up the opening round win. Nobody more fired up. Percy and the early power from Florida State. Well, take a look at the uh, updated bracket here again. One game down, one to go tonight. Alabama and UCF will square off. Loser of that one will face off against Stetson.